and welcome back to another episode of the Points of Articulation. My name's Dave, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today I'm looking at the Hot Wheels Star Wars First Order ATST. Now this particular vehicle was first seen in Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi. And if you want to get technical, it was also seen in Star Wars Battlefront 2, the new one. Now the First Order ATST featured an updated design on what we've seen in Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. In the film BB-8, which we can see right here, gets in one of these and sabotages it and basically uses it to rescue Finn and Rose off the Supremacy. I really wish we had a non-battle damaged version, if you will, but it is what it is. So in dealing with the model, I thought that it was just going to be a Imperial ATST, but believe it or not, they are two different molds altogether. From the feet all the way up to the center section, everything's completely different. And we're definitely going to take a look at all those details. So for the ATST's height, we're looking at around 2.5 inches tall, which is pretty good. So like always, we're going to look at the mold, the paint, put on a stand, compare it to some other ships, and we'll be done. So let's get moving. Alright, kicking this review off looking at the mold of the First Order ATST. First off, we'll go over the main sections of the ship, and then zoom in to show off all those great details. First of all, we have very detailed legs. On the outside and interior, the pads are nicely done for our drive engine section. Beautiful, love all those nooks and crannies in there. We have our neck or gyro system, whatever. Then we have our cockpit section full of paneling, different little modules. Right here is the twin blaster cannon. And since the whole head's basically destroyed, we have BB-8 driving it with some detail in here. So that's pretty cool. Now for the bottom, we have peg ports on the feet, and for the bottom of the walker itself, we have copyright crap, rivet holding it together, and a large rivet which goes all the way up to the cockpit section, holding it all together. Now this, unlike the Imperial ATSD, does not move at all, and I don't want to break it. I tried moving it, doesn't want to go. Uh, having said that, the twin blaster cannon does not move either. So basically it's a static model. And that's all the main points of this ship. Very detailed, I like what they did, especially back here. Excellent. So now let's get a closer look. All right, having a closer look at the interior of the cockpit, we can see some great details in here. Very nice stuff. Here we have BB-8. Need uh, not too much detail, but it has the basic shape, which is nice. Coming down, we have our twin blaster cannons. Pretty good. I think they have some nice details on there. For the main cockpit section, we have some paneling, which is awesome. On the back, nicely done. And this side, pretty good. For the underneath, there is a little bit down there. I think it came out good. Our neck is basically rounded. Not much to say about that. For the drive section, I think this came out amazing. Just look at all that. I love all the little raised sections and hidden little details in here. Fantastic stuff. These little pieces here and on the side. Amazing. For the back, you can see all those great details. Again, on the side, pretty good. And in the front, look at all that. This is great. The paint's kind of rounded down here, but there is detail there. I think it's kind of cool. And for the bottom, we have our two rivets and some details with the copyright crap on the sides. Pretty awesome. Now, looking at my favorite part, the legs. Just look at all that detail. Pistons joints, some paneling, little modules here and there. This is great. Now, of course, we have our armor in the front, but then going down, we have bunches of little things here and there. This section's supposed to be cut out, but doesn't matter. For the size, it's great. Then we have our pads on the feet. Amazing looking. I think those came out great. And they even detailed the interiors, which is amazing. 
Let's have a look at this side for that. Pretty good. Coming down. Amazing stuff. Again, the pad on the foot. For the back, again, slightly detailed. And this side's basically the same. All the little pieces are there. It just came out great. It really did. Pretty cool. And that's everything I have to say about the mold. From what we looked at, the legs and the drive section are absolutely awesome. Some great little details hidden up here. Both sides of the legs are done perfectly. I think it's a great little model. If I had to say, I think the head's a little fallen short, but it's not bad for what it is and for what it's supposed to represent from the film. It's a nicely detailed piece. So now let's take a look at the paint. Oh, when it comes to the paint of that First Order ATST, we're looking at a couple different colors here. For the walker itself, a nice gray for the legs, main body and engine section, and the cockpit here. And you can see where the die cast paint is trying to blend in with the plastic or vice versa. It's pretty good in person, but you could definitely tell the difference here. On the whole though, painted pretty clean. I think they did a decent job, especially in the cockpit area. Pretty good. Now besides that, we have black for underneath and the neck and the interior of the cockpit. So that came out pretty decent. Then we have metallic dark gray right here for the twin laser cannons. And regular dark gray for back here. All in all, nicely painted walker. So now let's take a look at BB-8. Checking out BB-8, we have some white, that orange, blue, glossy black for its eye, and silver. And I think it came out very nice. Pretty decent. Awesome. So that's everything I have to say about the mold and the paint. So now let's put this baby back on a stand, compare it to some other ships, and then we'll be done. Now, just like other Hot Wheels ships, you get a stand, or like this one, a base. Just place it on like so, place your vehicle or ship, and you're good to go. Now for a quick size comparison with the First Order ATST, we have it next to its Imperial counterpart. And then on the right hand side we have the First Order ATM-6. Some interesting looking walkers here. And that does it today for my review of the Hot Wheels Star Wars First Order ATST. First seen in Star Wars Episode 8: The Last Jedi, and for its size, it's two and a half inches tall which is pretty good. Right away, I think of a scene on a supremacy, and that's what it's meant to do. Remind you of a specific scene, and that's basically it. But having said that, does this model work? I'm going to have to say yes. First of all, the mold, excellent. Perfectly detailed. I just love the legs so much. The head has some detail in it, but I do think it falls a little short on the sides here. I don't know. You go from super detailed, detailed, and then it kind of goes flat. And I get it. It's supposed to be falling apart, so it is what it is. Paint-wise, I think it's great. For what it is, fine. Like always, I wish it had a little wash here or there, maybe some silver. But it's great. You got your grays, your blacks, your metallic gray, and a little gray in the black. And BB-8 is painted very good for the size. Now, like all the Hot Wheels ships, you do get a nice base or stand. And the base is great. It has the First Order symbol on it. And if you are looking to buy it, I recommend checking the internet, eBay, Amazon, Target, Walmart. I personally found mine at Walmart. And it was about $3.99, so I'm happy about that. They are finally in my area for once, which is awesome. So I recommend this vehicle for anybody who's a fan of The Last Jedi, ATSTs, or The First Order. It is a great looking ship. So that's everything I have to say about this cool walker today. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, hit that like button. And if you'd like to see new reviews every Thursday, subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.